Good day everybody, this is westernpacificweather.com's uh, video update for Tropical Storm Haima and Tropical Storm Mayari or Falcon. It is the 24th of June, um, 2011, 08 Zulu or 4 p.m. Philippine time, 5 p.m. Japan time. Got a lot of things to cover today, so let's start with uh, Tropical Storm Haima. Now over the Gulf of Tonkin, about to make landfall in northeastern Vietnam in about 6 hours, perhaps, maybe tonight, uh, Philippine time. Uh, was last located 150 kilometers north e um, east of Hanoi. Sorry, uh, maximum sustained winds of 65 kph and gusts of up to 85 kph. Yes, so Haima has been upgraded by the JTWC back to a tropical storm uh, because of very warm waters over there in Gulf of Tonkin, allowing the storm to re-strengthen back to a tropical storm before making its second landfall in northeastern Vietnam late tonight or possibly early tomorrow, depends on the speed and movement. The storm right now is moving west-southwestward at 15 kilometers per hour. Latest radar image from Hainan shows the bulk majority of heavy rain from the storm has moved offshore well west of the island right now although still some pockets of light to moderate rain over the island as well as in southwestern china including there in guangdong province there but as i said the bulk of the rain has moved offshore towards vietnam here we have the um radar image from the vietnam meteorological administration here showing the uh, bands of moderate to heavy rain beginning to make their way throughout the northern part of the country northeastern part including Hanoi here are gonna be bringing some light to moderate rain in the next few hours or so and also that I just offshore you can see that in the radar image so we're gonna be bringing some heavy rain f throughout the northern half of the country in the next two days for sure so watch for the flush floods landslide landslides over there so you can see we have the um, radar loop you can see this um, w um, the the center of storm you can extrapolate that moving west southwestward passing south of Hanoi perhaps tomorrow morning late tomorrow morning Saturday Philippine time right now it is still offshore about to make landfall later tonight now the forecast remains the same although have shifted a little bit south by JTWC and also by JMA because of the present trends and uh, movement being shown by the storm so we now expect this to pa move past south of Hanoi um, later tomorrow morning um, Saturday Philippine time and um, as I said the eye is still offshore and moving west southwestward so passing just south of Hanoi and eventually dissipating as a tropical depression in the next two days perhaps Sunday morning JMA also showing the same thing here um, showing that general westward movement making landfall in a couple few hours before dissipating again as a tropical depression north no, in the northern part of Vietnam now moving on to the other story of uh, this today uh, we have tropical storm Miari or Falcon still moving uh, accelerating northward towards the Korean Peninsula was last located 350 kilometers uh, northeast of Basco Batanes or 480 kilometers southeast of Taipei. Maximum winds have strengthened to 95 kph with gusts of up to 120 kilometers per hour. The storm is moving north northwestward at 25 kilometers per hour. You can see here still very broad circulation, large swath of, of high clouds here shown in the visual uh, image. Uh, satellite so but however the um the storm and uh, the convective bands have appeared to to be um wrapping around a common center now the past 12 hours so um showing signs of of uh, improved organization however because of strong wind shear still around the northern part of the philippines including just south east of, of taiwan affecting affecting miari right now so as I, as I said last uh, yesterday, hampering the development still. Although I can see that uh, almost as a circulation look, a very large tropical storm already affecting parts of, of Taiwan and um, Ryukyu Islands, including Okinawa, and as well as um, the Philippines. You can see here latest image from uh, from Taiwan. 
this is Taipei is right over here and you can see heavy rain just offshore of the country east of, of, of Taipei and uh, you can see uh, this uh, radar loop you see that uh, bands of rain from tropical storm Mayari beginning to move westward towards uh, the country so possibly in a couple of hours expect conditions there to deteriorate not that not as much as strong winds although Taipei International Airport is reporting um, northeasterly winds of uh, 20 to 30 kph so yeah very windy today but not dex destructive the main part of this uh, the main problem for this will be the flooding as with the case in the Philippines going back to the show here you can see uh, we have the we have this uh, video from Ray Sibayan showing the flooding in in Pasay city so showing that um, uh, flooding in Pasay by Ray Sibayan um, not directly from tropical storm Fal falcon although it is currently inducing the southwest monsoon this one uh, video from Jem Zenza is showing that flooding this time in Makati showing that knee dip uh, flooding there in the area so um, stopping traffic definitely traffic there definitely and then also showing that so what is causing Falcon which is so far away from the country now to bring this heavy rain on doy like flooding here in Luzon particularly in Metro Manila now we look at this IR imagery colored IR imagery you can see here this is the bulk of convection from associated with tropical storm Yari or, or Falcon moving north north westward towards um, Korea you can see also here this is the Philippines and this is central Luzon and Manila you can see Manila Bay over here you can see that bulk of convection also as well um, not very strong but uh, definitely bringing some moder moderate to heavy rain it has been sitting in this region for almost a day almost two days actually bringing that rain this is southwest monsoonal rains induced and being enhanced by tropical storm falcon as it moves away see uh, because of that also associated with the storm Pagasa warnings signal number one as of 11 a.m. to Kalayan group of islands Batanes and Babuin group of islands nothing here in, nothing in mainland Luzon no uh, signal warnings out there nor in Visayas and Mindanao just the northern part of the country northernmost part of the country uh, actually looking at the traffic reports actually as of 4 PM. This is based on Facebook and Twitter reports from GMA, MMDA, and also from other users out there in the, the web. You can see uh, just a report um, around C5. There is heavy traffic, and uh, you see also in Aurora Boulevard and also along P Tuazon, gutter to knee dip floods there. So almost impassable traffic at a standstill, according to some reports. Um, also out there here in um, Araneta Avenue in Quezon City almost impossible due to the creeks overflowing f of, of water due to garbage and just um, clogging um, there the water can't pass through so the the roads are now almost impossible and just very high flooding there also we have report of a tornado happening somewhere in New Manila Quezon City but two hours ago in uh, Balete Drive in, in as I said New Manila near the LRT there um, I've seen the pictures uh, and trees roof from houses blown over looks that's doesn't uh, um, doesn't look like a very strong tornado it looks to be an EF0 tornado just uh, the weakest of the Fujita scale but definitely very strong there I've seen the pics and uh, the, the trees blown all over so just be careful out there I really wish we had the Pagasa radar from Subic though they're not making it public right now although they have uh, stated on their Twitter page about three hours ago of, of heavy rain rates from being picked up by the Subic radar I'm pretty sure one of those uh, of the one of those heavy rain bands uh, definitely brought that um, very strong winds out here in Quezon City I'm not sure if it's straight line winds or 
definitely a tornado but definitely some destruction there in terms of, of very strong winds also moving on we have all the light m light traffic right now in in Santolan Annapolis area although expected to to worsen as the rush hour comes in it is Friday you have workers moving out of uh, coming home and speaking of which uh, uh, the NCR government also actually suspended work uh, for the afternoon hours I'm not sure if it's still timely updates it's already 5 p.m. today 4 p.m. so but just bear in mind that, that most of workers are already coming home at this hour we're going to the other updates we have um, MRT Ortiga section and Shaw Boulevard also heavy uh, um, uh, heavy traffic there also as well in SM Mega Mall area heavy very heavy traffic so advise motorists to to avoid that area also as well in Bundia in Santolan and and here in Ayala all moderate to heavy traffic not really because of flooding but just because of the heavy rain that has been pounding the 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 region for the several hours slowing the cars down and also some pockets of, of flooding definitely there also moving on to Pasai area just moderate to heavy rain all over the place there I, I showed you the video before you can see that we got a deep flood still uh, possible but uh, I wouldn't advise motorists to go there just find other ways find other routes some find other um, roads that are free from floods or traffic although it's going to be very hard now moving on we have philippine general hospital area taft avenue also heavy traffic almost impossible due to flooding there including here in united nations avenue so flooding there moving on to the other update uh, i have here compiled a rain and wind report based on METAR and also based from the synoptic weather stations from Pagasa taken from the World Meteorological Organization as of 2 p.m. The METAR reports were taken at about 3 p.m. this afternoon. I don't know if you can read this, but I'll start things off with in Manila. Rain in past 24 hours, 150 to 200 millimeters, so very heavy rains past uh, 24 hours there, heaviest rate. 44 millimeters in three hours that's almost on doy like as they said as the authorities mentioned and also the weather reports definitely comparing this to the on doy flooding that happened almost two years ago there so there you go the heaviest rain uh, passing over to the area also the naia international airport there in uh, in manila um, based on the latest METAR indicating strong northwesterly winds at around 20 kilometers per hour also noting heavy rain heavy rain and around the airport uh, i i'm i'm sure it also goes to, to through the the area that is there is uh, there is heavy rain as well there moving on to subic iba sambales or clark area rain in past 24 hours 200 to 300 millimeters so very heavy rain as well over there heaviest rain rain rate not available um, fortunately however Subic airport indicating southwesterly winds at 20 kph with moderate rain Clark also showing southwesterly winds at 20 kph light rain lawag mostly cloudy however very strong winds 25 to 35 kph Baguio rain in past 24 hours 70 millimeters no winds uh, no wind reports I can see here uh, this is Tropical Storm Aries last located center. Also from Taipei reporting conditions also mostly cloudy. West northwesterly winds at 35 kph there. Moving on to the forecast. Computer models are very in, uh, in good agreement. As I said before moving through the um, Korean Peninsula there. And this is ECMWF not part of the graph here. Um, you can see that by um, uh, 26th of June Sunday morning Philippine time the storm is forecast to be moving through the Yellow Sea this is JMA's uh, JMA's forecast in three days time making landfall in the Korean Peninsula and also moving northeastward towards um, towards uh, the uh, Sea of Japan JTWC also showing that same thing here this is our personal forecast not an official forecast but showing that we still expect this to become a typhoon briefly um, before it weakens uh, due to high wind shear and this is the uh, the links thanks for watching and